Well, President Biden unveiling a sweeping new plan aimed at upgrading some of the country's outdated infrastructure from crumbling roads to decaying water systems. But the more than $2 trillion price tag is sparking backlash on both sides of the aisle. The proposal promises a 21st century revamp of American infrastructure, from replacing old lead pipes to expanded high-speed internet nationwide to more charging stations for electric cars. But it's how the president proposes paying for all those upgrades that's causing the strong pushback. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil is live in Washington, D.C. tonight with a breakdown of what that plan includes. Joe. Yeah, Nicole, that is one of the contentious points there. President Biden unveiled his $2 trillion plan to basically overhaul the nation's infrastructure over the span of eight years. And he called it a once in a generation kind of investment, but it also includes a long list of other Democratic priorities. As you mentioned, it's paid for with a tax hike that some Republicans are already lining up to fight against. So let's get into it. The plan's got billions of dollars for some of the hallmarks of infrastructure, things like roads, bridges, tunnels, and water Ways, but it also puts money toward other things that aren't considered traditionally infrastructure related. So the plan would uh, pour into uh, some things, like I said here, $160 billion for roads, highways, bridges. It pour $85 billion for mass transit improvements and $111 billion to replace 100% of all lead water pipes. But as we mentioned, it does invest in some areas that you wouldn't consider traditionally infrastructure. It's got $400 billion toward the care economy for in-home care for the elderly. It's got $16 billion to transition fossil fuel workers into different clean energy jobs. And it also has $100 billion in high-speed broadband internet. So here's what President Biden said about it just a little while ago. It's not a plan that tinkers around the edges. It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. Now, not all Democrats are on board. In fact, some members of the more progressive wing of the party actually released a statement asking the administration to make the plan significantly bigger. They say that $2 trillion over nearly a decade is not enough money. Republicans also oppose the plan, and a lot of them say it's just too expensive. Some took issue with the measures that we discussed that aren't traditionally considered infrastructure. We all need better infrastructure. No one's going to deny that. The fact that less than 25 percent of this piece of legislation, in fact, is about building bridges and roads Start out with an infrastructure package that is about infrastructure and infrastructure solely. Now, some Republicans and Democrats have raised issues with how the Biden administration wants to pay for this package. Administration officials say the plan is to increase taxes on American and on multinational corporations. They want to raise the corporate tax rate from 21 percent, which is what businesses pay now, to 28 percent. And they say that's going to cover the cost of this package over the next 15 years. Nicole.